Hey y'all, so today we're going to talk um, more about shifting timelines and like identity shifts and switching from like scarcity to abundance and this came to me the other day while I was amongst a bunch of mangrove trees and um, it was my first time really around mangrove grove trees, no second time and it was just like so magical. The first time was super magical too and actually we're going to go check out that spot again tomorrow which I'm so excited. Um, but it got me researching the mangroves because I really feel like this tree is like helping me in this new timeline that I'm in here in Florida. And so mangroves are really fascinating because they are one of the few trees that can straddle like environments in the sense of like they straddle the ocean and the land, right? Like they're like a bridge per se. Um, and they have like a really unique environment that they need to have in order to like survive and thrive and they do best with like salt water and freshwater mixture I think I read which was like 50 50 um and they house all kinds of little species and they're a huge part of like the ecosystem however um it was really interesting to me when I was reading about mangroves and how they give birth as a tree they're very unique because when they give birth they give live birth meaning they have what are called like propagules. I don't know if I'm saying that word right, um, but they have propagules and the propagules are basically like their little babies and they look kind of like, I don't know, they're about six inches big and they look kind of like little like cigars or like long beans that hang on them and those are the babies and they hang on to the tree and then when the tree is ready to send the baby off or out into the real world, um, so to say, uh, the baby drops into the water and then it'll float, there's different types of mangroves, so it'll float anywhere from 5 to, um, I think it was like 40 days before it really starts to get filled with water and start to sink down into the water and take root. And so it was really fascinating to me to learn about that because I had also read that the mangrove spiritualism they have to do a lot with helping you navigate life storms, which those of y'all that are in like timeline shifts right now where you're like in the midst of shifting over and you know you've left behind the old identity and old ways and now you're just like really embodying and learning to implement and be still and surrendered as the new identity and the new timeline comes online. Um, you know that it can feel kind of stormy at times because it's the unknown, right? And like we're wired to like self-protect and the unknown scary because we don't know what can happen to us and so looking at like the incident with the mangroves like it's just fascinating to think of it as like if we were little mangrove babies <clears throat> dropping from the tree of life or like the universal tree of life into the stream or flow of timeline shifting and co-creation and then trusting, just like the little babies, that eventually we're going to become so filled with, like, light, imbued with, like, our new identity, um, revitalized, recharged. Then we're able to drop down into the timeline, or in the case of the mangrove babies, into where they're going to root. And then we get to take root. And as we take root, it's like the mangrove babies where we trust the process as the tides ebb and flow and the moon cycles ebb and flow, um, the same happens with us. And then the mangrove baby becomes part of like this really intricate like tree and root system and ecosystem, which could be symbolic of us becoming part of this really intricate new timeline that we're in that we've co-created with the universe. And so it was just really interesting to me to think of it that way. And it gave me a lot more comfort thinking of feeling like a little mangrove baby, trusting that I'm going to absorb with all the light and affirmations and like intentions, like I'm going to fill up with those. And right now I'm in, um, right now I'm in this like rooting phase where like I've been every day as much as possible trying to be outside a minimum of half an hour barefoot, but also with grounding meditations, really dropping into my root chakra here in this new timeline, creating safety in my root chakra in this new timeline of the unknown, and now being able to look at it as like, oh wow, you're going to be part of this really lush, beautiful tree that is able to um, really make a difference, because mangroves are important in the world, super important, they help with like storm surges, they feed um, all kinds of like wildlife, um, 
they're really important for like fishermen towns um the mangroves really help because the fish like to live amongst like the roots um or hide from predators amongst the roots like they're so so important um and so with me like i've been working on um shifting into the identity and embodying the identity of being a conscious and abundant steward of mother earth so then i look at this beautiful tree that is like when you come across a mangrove forest it's so abundant with just like magic the, ma the mangrove forests are very different than other forests and so just taking comfort and knowing like a little mangrove tree like i'm gonna make it out of what feels like a storm when it comes to like identity changes right um and i'm gonna take root and i'm gonna grow tall and i'm gonna have really strong roots and I'm going to be able to navigate, like, the different tides of life and not get uprooted because I've done so much inner work around this that, like, I, I'm going to be unshakable. And then it's symbolic of, like, me being the little baby, baby mangrove, being surrounded by the grown-up mangroves, which to me is, like, being surrounded by, like, the humans that are going to come into my life to support my dreams and manifestations for we're all co-creating together, right? Like, someone's co-creating and bringing me into their reality i'm co-creating bringing them into my reality source energy is obviously co-creating with all of us and so then it's like the mangrove forest is symbolic of like all those other beautiful beings that are co-creating to be in this like little forest or tapestry of life with me and then on top of that it's also like i love trees so then it's symbolic of like all the trees that are here rooting for me um and putting roots for me quite literally like I know the trees are moving stuff for me and then it's also symbolic of like the universal like team that I have of like ancestors and beings that I don't even know what they're called and elementals and like angels and dragons that I know are moving things for me and helping me and guiding me and trusting my inner guidance and so I look at the mangrove forest as this little baby mangrove tree and I'm like wow I'm like so divinely supported my life like I'm gonna root and I'm gonna be like these magnificent trees alongside me and we're all gonna be like beautiful together and we all make a change together and I don't know just having this insight about the mangrove babies and the live births which I mean when you're switching timelines too it's like a live birth you're going from one timeline to the other you're no longer the old identity so now you're being born again as this little person and then you're drifting along in the stream of life, um, waiting to be able to put your roots into that which you're calling in, and then trusting that you're going to grow and like make it out of the water and up into the air and reaching towards the sky while also grounding into the reality. Um, there's just something really medicinal and beautiful about that, at least for me. Um, so yeah, maybe this will help you in your timeline shift to just be like the mangrove baby and to trust that the parent tree dropped you into the flow just like source consciousness or your higher power dropped you into the flow of co-creation and now you're drifting along and maybe you've already started putting roots or you're like still filling up with like the energies and identities and charges that you're calling in and like transforming into. Um... But either way, just trusting that you're going to really become unrootable and be able to rise from between the two timelines and really anchor in this new identity and this new way of being, just like the mangroves are able to like be anchored on Earth and with the ocean, which is just like so cool. Hope that made sense. It got a little jumbled in my mind as I was getting carried away by the medicine of the mangroves, but happy shifting and just know that it's all divine orchestration and you're in the current of life and you're flowing where you're meant to be going and just trust it and root into it and know that in the ecosystem of the universe you are meant to take root and rise and stand and tall and grow and be in your power and leave like your medicinal imprint of your soul's essence on this planet. Thank you for watching and be well.